The Gran Telescopio Canarias Grantican or GTC is a 10.4 m reflecting telescope located at the Roque de los Muchachos Observatory on the island of La Palma, in the Canaries, Spain. Construction of the telescope took seven years and cost €130 million, Euros £112 million. Its installation had been hampered by weather conditions and the logistical difficulties of transporting equipment to such a remote location. First light was achieved in 2007 and scientific observations began in 2009. The GTC project is a partnership formed by several institutions from Spain and Mexico, the University of Florida, the National Autonomous University of Mexico, and the Instituto de Astrofísica de Canarias IAC. Planning for the construction of the telescope, which started in 1987, involved more than 1,000 people from 100 companies. It is the world's largest single aperture optical telescope. The division of telescope time reflects the structure of its financing, 90% Spain, 5% Mexico and 5% the University of Florida. History First light The GTC began its preliminary observations on 13 July 2007, using 12 segments of its primary mirror, made of zeroda glass ceramic by the German company Schott AG. Later the number of segments was increased to a total of 36 hexagonal segments fully controlled by an active optics control system, working together as a reflective unit. Its day one instrumentation was OSIRIS. Scientific observations began properly in May 2009. Inauguration ceremony The Gran Telescopio Canarias formally opened its shutters on July 24, 2009, inaugurated by King Juan Carlos I of Spain. More than 500 astronomers, government officials and journalists from Europe and the Americas attended the ceremony. <laughs> MEGARA MEGARA Multiespectrografo en GTC de Alta Resolución para Astronomía is an optical integral field and multi-object spectrograph covering the visible light and near-infrared wavelength range between 0.365 and 1 micrometer with a spectral resolution in the range R equals 6000 the MEGARA IFU also called LCB, large compact bundle, offers a contiguous field of view of 12.5 arcsec by 11.3 arcsec, while the multi-object spectroscopy mode allows observing 92 objects simultaneously in a field of view of 3.5 arcmin by 3.5 arcmin by means of an equal number of robotic positioners. Both the LCB and MOS modes make use of 100 micrometers core optical fibers 1267 in total that are attached to a set of microlens arrays with 623 spaxels in the case of the LCB and 92 by 7 in the case of the MOS with each microlens covering an hexagonal region of 0.62 arcsec in diameter. Topic. Canaricum The University of Florida's Canaricum is a mid-infrared imager with spectroscopic, coronagraphic, and polarimetric capabilities, which will be mounted initially at the Naismith focus of the telescope. In the future, when the Cassegrain focus of the telescope is commissioned, it is expected that Canaricum will move to this focus, which will provide superior performance with the instrument. Canaricum is designed as a diffraction-limited imager. It is optimized as an imager, and although it will offer a range of other observing modes, these will not compromise the imaging capability. 
The fact that Canaricum offers polarimetry and coronagraphy in addition to the more standard imaging and spectroscopic modes makes it a versatile and powerful instrument. Canaricum will work in the thermal infrared between approximately 7.5 and 25 micrometers. At the short wavelength end, the cutoff is determined by the atmosphere specifically atmospheric seeing. At the long wavelength end, the cutoff is determined by the detector, this loses sensitivity beyond around 24 micrometers, although the cutoff for individual detectors varies significantly. Canaricum is a very compact design. It is expected that the total weight of the cryostat and its on-telescope electronics will be under 400 kg. Most previous mid-infrared instruments have used liquid helium as a cryogen. One of the requirements of Canaricum is that it should require no expensive and difficult to handle cryogens. Canaricum will use a two-stage closed cycle cryocooler system to cool the cold optics and cryostat interior down to approximately 28K minus 245 degrees Celsius minus 409 degrees Fahrenheit and the detector itself to around 8K minus 265 degrees Celsius minus 445 degrees Fahrenheit the temperature at which the detector works most efficiently. Canaricum is operational as of December 3, 2009. OSIRIS The IAC's OSIRIS Optical System for Imaging and Low Resolution Integrated Spectroscopy, is an Imaging and low resolution spectrograph with long slit and multi object spectroscopic modes. It covers the wavelength range from 0.365 to 1.05 micrometers with a field of views FOV of 7 times 7 arcmin and 8 arcmin times 5.2 arcmin for direct imaging and low resolution spectroscopy respectively. It provides a new generation of instrumental observation techniques such as the tunable filters, the charge shuffling capability in the CCD detectors, etc. Topic. See also Other observatory sites La Silla Observatory Mauna Kea Observatories Paranal Observatory Lists and comparisons Extremely large telescope List of largest optical reflecting telescopes List of largest optical telescopes historically Gallery <laughs> <laughs>